blessings to you and this is prophet Isaac Amata, the 23rd day in the month of December 2021 with a very very powerful brief prophetic message to the nation of Zambia this message is going to get to the current president of the nation of Zambia Akainde Ichilema I know that without a doubt because this message is strictly directed to him and um, there are a lot of people that are going to be very surprised and they will say the prophet is giving a message to the current president of Zambia Akainde Ichilema but how come he hates this man He's bitter against him. No, no, no. Far away from it. The prophet Isaac Amata is not bitter with anybody. When you are a voice of the Lord, you speak the mind of the Lord. We are neither for the UPND. We are neither for the PF. We are neither for the ruling or the opposition because God is neither for any. God is only for those who do his will. And when you do the will of God, you are the personality of the Lord. So the Lord woke me up 3 a.m. this morning, early this morning, and said, you give this message to the current leader. And uh, the Lord says, there are three things he was listening to. If Akainde Chilema is going to succeed, there are three things he must do. Now listen to me. God raised up Isaac and Ishmael God raised up Jacob and Esau, the Lord. He chose one. He did not choose any, any the other. Does not mean God hates the other. No, God is not a God of hatred, but God of appointment. There are a lot of people who have a misguided thinking. And today we are going to correct that misguided thinking. God can send a prophet to anyone. A prophet is just an instrument to give a message to wherever God sent him to give a message. The Lord have used me to speak to the former president and the Lord is still using me to speak to this current one. And he says, if he can listen to these three things, Akainde Chilima, the current president, the excellency in Zambia, can succeed. But if he does not listen to the word of God, the Lord said, I should remember, remind the leader about Solomon. Solomon was chosen by the Lord and God gave Solomon condition. If you do this, if you do that, you will prosper. If you don't do this, I will take it from your hand. This is what happened to the former president of Zambia. A distinguished president, a man that fears God. But the issue is that when you have advisors around you, advisor can advise you, but a leader must be bold to take decision even when an advisor advise you your decision is the final bus stop number one the choice of ikandulu was a wrong mistake number two before the arrest of the current president of zambia akainde chilema i had that vision and i'm not going to mention any names but i went to a particular minister and i gave that message this is what i saw i sent the message across don't do this. Don't take this decision. But you see, you can give a message, but at the end, people decide what they want to do. That decision was taken despite the vision I saw and the message I transcribed. The rest is an history. You say, Prophet, what are these three things the Lord has spoken to you? Number one, the Lord says, and before I say the Lord says, the Lord revealed to me and showed me the heart of Akainde Chilema. What was in that heart? Spirit of forgiveness. He has forgiven. But what I saw is that some around spirit of vindiction, vindictive spirit. The Lord says, say to the current president of Zambia, don't go after the former president of Zambia. Don't focus on the economy. Focus on becoming one of the best president of Africa, of Zambia ever, focus of making a name like, like uh, uh, Nelson Mandela, who was, uh, who was dealt with badly by some 
former colonial masters. And when he became president, he had the power to deal with them. But he decided to go the peace and reconciliation way. And that gave him a name that no president in Africa has ever matched. The Lord says, what happened to you is within your rights. But you have the capacity to say, I am not going to listen to any pressure by any person or any group of people around me but I am going to let go and I am going to focus on delivering for Zambia because when you deliver I'm telling you that people will still come out more for you that is what the Lord says the Lord says you have a right but I saw in the spiritual realm there are pressure around you to take an action the Lord says don't go after the former president is within your right and then there's a second group of people that will say justice 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 yes mandela also had the voice saying justice 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 but then he said reconciliation 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 peace 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 and uh, when we say justice does not mean when bad deeds are done corrupt tendencies are done we should cover it no far be from it they are the anti-corruption bodies that can do things but there's a difference between justice and vindiction. Don't walk the path of bitterness, of say, I am going to pay back. God, I want to repeat it, God has showed me, you don't want to, but there are people who are advising. Number one, the Lord says, you can have advisor, but advisor should not determine your decision. Be a leader that wants to make a name. That is why God says three things, if he does it, he will succeed from 2022 going forward. Don't, I repeat it, go after the former president of Zambia. Somebody will gain number three will say, oh, the president, prophet have an alliance with the former president. That is why he's speaking for him. I'm telling you what God told me, that if you do it, you will prosper. Because some people have an, an idea and thinking. The prophet is an enemy of Akande. I am not an, an enemy. I am neither for UPND or, or, or PF. I am only for the Lord. The Lord is neither a party, is neither for any party. The Lord is for those who will do his will. If Solomon had done the will of God, Solomon would have been have a permanent house. But he went against the will of God. So that is number one. Don't go. Instead, breed bridges. Build what? Bridges. Build what? Bridges. Build the people together and make a name. The Lord has shown me that there's a capacity to become one of the best president and not only affecting Zambia, affecting the Sadiq, affecting Africa, leaving a legacy. Number two, the Lord said I should tell you, sir, listening to the people. When this decision was made to increase the foil, increase petroleum products, increase this and increase that, you took it for a purpose and a reason. It's left to you. When the Lord says, when the people begin to cry, you draw yourself back and sit with the people the, who are the stakeholders and listen to them, negotiate with them. If you move it from 15 to 17 and the people cry, you can go down and say, I move it down from 17 to 7, 1650. But it all has to do with listening to the people. A leader succeeds when you listen. The Lord said, if you listen, you are going to succeed. But if you don't listen, the same people that took action over the former president will take action also when the next opportunity give, is given to them. Listen to the people. When you take sensitive decisions, carry the people along. Don't disconnect from them, but listen to them. When you do that, you are going to prosper. Number three, maintain the status quo of Zambia, a Christian nation. Do that. Do that. Do it. Let it be seen. I want to repeat those three things God told me. Number one, which is the most important. Don't allow your administration to be seen to be a vindictive, meaning payback. Like I said earlier on, the Lord gave me this message 3 a.m. in the morning. Give it to the president of Zambia. They're in this part. They have a spirit of forgiveness, but there are people that are putting pressure. And if you follow those voices that say, go after, all in the name called justice, the Lord said, remind him about Nelson Mandela. If he can follow the path of Nelson Mandela, 
he will become a legacy in Zambia. But if he listens to those voices that put pressure and say, go after the former president, Edgar Chagwalungu, which for one reason he is within his right, but in listening to the voice of God and say, I have let go, I am going to we focus for development. You are going to leave a legacy that at even middle of your term, people will be shouting and saying, we want you to continue because the legacy is production, development, develop, delivery to the people. When these things are done, your legacy will be a success legacy. The Lord says, if you take these three, these three advices and follow it, you will be a success from 2022 going forward. Listen to the people. They cry about this electric uh, fire issue. Negotiate with them. Sit with them. Don't disconnect from the people. Don't be a, a leader of law. I've taken a decision. I've taken a decision. It's irreversible. If you take that kind of step, I'm telling you the same people right now who put you there will remove you again from power because it is a circle. Listen to the people, negotiate with the people, and take a final decision. Carry the people along. I want to say without any apologies to anybody, I am not for any I am not for ruling. I'm not for opposition. I am for the Lord. And when God says, give this message, he has told me this thing three times. Today, 3 a.m. in the morning, he says, give this message to Akainde Ichilima, president of Zambia. If you follow this, you are going to succeed. One, don't go after. Let it be. Let it be. Let him be alone. Let him be. Take the step of Mandela. Build bridges. Number two, listen to the people, negotiate, especially this action taken on the foil and any action going to be taken, sensitive action, follow, maintain Zambia the Christian nation. Many will be surprised with this video because they will say, oh, so now the prophet is giving advice to a kind of I have a confidence without doubt that the current president of Zambia will get this message. And I want to say this message, message finally. When God gave Solomon a message, it was conditional. If Solomon follows Solomon, we have a sure house. But if Solomon refused to listen to the advice of the Lord, the government and the administration and the kingdom will be taken away from him. When the former president, distinguished Edgar Lungu, humble leader, took Ikanduluo, the campaign collapsed. When I gave an advice, don't arrest that time. I saw it, but it was not taken. There was a big setback. The Lord will bless the nation of Zambia and help the current leader to listen to the voice of the Lord. This is Prophet Isaac Amata saying, Shalom, Shalom. Mm -hmm.